Does the moon have structures? Hey everyone, Bruce Ward's here. Thanks so much for stopping by and thanks to all new patrons, um, each and every one of you. And along the way, you you prefer to um, stop giving the money. I mean, we all have reasons for it. I'm not gonna take your names down. You've come here to support me once, you'll always be a contributor. One of my favorite areas, guys, this is Tycho Crater and I love viewing the surface. And of course, winter's coming, I'll still be outside. Uh, maybe a bit less, it always depends on the snowstorms and stuff, but we get such clear views and I need time to do some um, work on all the footage that I've gathered over the summer. There's just so much that we can see, it's never ending. And um, there's still many UFOs that I'll be finding in the footage because, you know, we have to zoom in and slow down in the footage. Obviously, I, I don't do that with the eight or nine hours of footage that I get every time I go out. And sometimes it's three or four hours, you know, depending on the clearings or the clouds. What I love uh, showing and seeing and sharing with all of you is um, the Terminator line and all the colors. And not just along the Terminator line, but especially along the Terminator line. We can see such magnificent colors on the surface. Looks like the fires um, around the craters are just lit up like... We don't know what's on the surface, but it definitely looks alive. An amazing view of the Crisium Basin, Mare Crisium, and all around it. Real nice, close, low angle view for you to get a view, just like we were landing on the surface of the moon. Who were the pioneers that made it to the moon first? If it's not a spaceship, that is. Like somebody had put words in my mouth and said that I had said that there were lush greens on the surface. Well, you know what? There are. And that's what I just showed you. Maybe it's a simple kind of people living on the moon. Maybe they make gardens. Maybe they clean up the surface and camp on the weekends. Who knows? Maybe, <laughs> I mean, who's up there? They could be alien. They could be human. Um, could be robots. I don't, I don't really care. I just know someone's up there and I'm just actually inter interested with their surface. Let's take a look at Plato Crater. This is pretty amazing. As we're getting in so close now with the research, look at the little details that near impossible, absolutely impossible to see with a smaller telescope right there. We can see lines, a massive line going by Plato Crater, another line coming from the other side, um, connections. It really does look like a manipulated surface. Whether we have the proof or not, it's still beautiful to get the chance to see it for ourselves. And most often, when you look at the surface, you say, yep, it really does look like a surface that someone could have lived there and maybe is even still now actively visiting it. If something's bothering you, 
well then something's really bothering you but if someone's trying to bother you and it's not affecting you emotionally is the person really there at all <laughs> life is an illusion a very convincing one we can believe what we want to we can see what we want to and we can perceive things the way we want them to be perceived Now this is not getting enough coverage. <laughs> Platforms built over the sides of craters and many of them. So the work related to the beings on the surface of the moon are really related to those craters. And this object on the bottom, which is, is the shadow, neither one of the objects you're looking at is a shadow. Watch this. It's very important you understand what I'm trying to show you. A black circle on the black object, a, white, a red circle on the big white object, and where's the shadow of all these objects? It, the one at the back's a structure. It's dark. Well, we perceive it as dark because of the wavelength or because of our eyes or because of space. That on the bottom is the shadow, what I believe, of that massive large object that we can actually even see through a part of it. Why would we see through an object? How would an object be formed or shaped for us to see through it? It could be like grid lines. We're seeing the crater, the actual crater, underneath the, the actual object on the bottom. Not much, but enough. You could see the outline of the dark structure underneath on the corner of the white object, and you could see right through it so what could it be it's fascinating and like I say all the time having the same there's another one okay we're looking at another platformed area or square symmetrical or 90 degree angle and it's just because of the wavelength we're not perceiving all these objects imagine it's blending in with the surface add a smoke or haze over that and it's really hiding the surface almost a natural camouflage if any camouflage at all so southern highlands here we are zoomed out to show you guys where we were no hiding it and this object has connections on each of the tips of that triangular uh, plane like looking object that's connected and leads off to every other object thank you to all patrons and of course all every contributor and for everyone being here I love you guys more on the way For whatever the reason you'd like to send me something, here is my mailing address.
Houston, say again, please. 